You know, we've got a seat waiting for you in the Del Marble Life audience, so be a part of the fun in the historic Studio D. Book your seat by visiting DelMarbleLife.com and clicking on the show tab. You'll see it on the left side of the main screen. Or just give us a call, 443-880-9116. Well, just before the break, we heard some inspiring stories about how a couple of families became a family. Something they're quickly finding out, and Jimmy, something you and I already know, caring for the little one isn't cheap. In fact, a USDA report in 2010 estimated that the typical American family will spend around $12,000 on child-related expenses in the first year alone, each week spending $50 on only diapers formula, and baby food. This estimate doesn't include hospital costs, which can average anywhere between $9,000 and $12,000. But with all of the expenses new parents face, it's no wonder secondhand baby items are so popular. Everything from car seats to breast pumps. But are they safe? <laughs> it's meal time for Ryder Turner. Today's menu, mom's milk. It's such a bond, a special bond between a mom and a baby that no one else will have. To keep up with Ryder's appetite and her work schedule, Michelle uses a breast pump. It's lasted a long time. A recent FDA report warns moms to take extra precautions when using secondhand pumps and accessories. You should not share, you should not buy off Craigslist or off the internet. It's really not worth the risk. Lactation consultant Nancy Imparelli says potentially infectious particles could linger in a single use breast pump. There's a potential for breast milk to back into the motor and certain viruses and bacteria can can then be transmitted to your baby. Along with breast pumps, many parents also rely on used car seats, cribs, and strollers. Parents should make sure the product hasn't been recalled. It has no missing parts and has never been in a crash. As for cribs, new crib rules took effect in 2011, so anything made before that could be obsolete. As for a used playpen, first find out if it was made after 2000. The last safety updates were issued in 1999. Avoid it if it's older than that. Also make sure the mesh has no tears and the holes are smaller than a quarter of an inch. <coughs> Michelle is well aware of the do's and don'ts. That's why she makes sure that her used gear is like new. Now, hand-me-down high chairs are fine as long as the chair has a five-point safety strap for anything and everything you buy for your baby that's used. Be sure to check the recall list before buying. You can find it at www.recalls.gov. So everything that I have that I save for my baby, yeah. obsolete. Gone. Gone. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, if you're not expecting a baby, these rules still apply. Have you replaced your favorite pair of shoes because the soles had worn out? Toss out a skirt because the zipper broke. Bought a new, brand new couch because the cushions on your old one were sunk in. Well, in today's Angie's List report, we tell you how to make your old items new again. When's the last time you looked around your closet or your house and thought, I need a change? But you don't want to spend a lot of money making that change. I had a really nice summer handbag, um, a good quality bag, but it was a light beige color. So after one year, it started to get, you know, really dirty, a little funky looking. But I didn't want to throw it out. I loved the bag. So instead of buying a new one, Sue Ellen gave it an upgrade. Did a little dyeing of the bag, and it lasted me through another summer. And I was really pleased because I enjoyed the bag. It was good quality. It wasn't something that I just wanted to toss after one season. And you can't upgrade your purse without doing something with your shoes. Oftentimes people overlook the fact that they can take their shoes to the shoe repair company and they can work miracles. So if you enjoy nice shoes but don't want to blow your budget, Consider investing in a pair of nice shoes, but take care of them, and they could last you for years versus other shoes that you might have been turning over every season. And for those shoes that don't quite fit right, we can actually stretch the shoe length and width. So if it's a little tight or, you know, if it just doesn't feel right, we can actually stretch the shoe size because a lot of people say, oh, I got a great deal on this shoe, but it doesn't really fit. And best of all, it's affordable. I would say on average, the average repair would be anywhere from 8 to $12. Now that the shoes and purse are covered, what about the clothes? I think we can all admit that we tend to fluctuate sizes every now and again, and we tend to toss out the clothes as they don't fit. 
Instead, consider taking them to an alterations company because they can actually help those clothes continue to look good, even though you, they may not be the perfect size for you today. For example, the pants, some guy, they want me light out. So we, like say, we only can light out from size 4 to size 6, size 6 or size 8. But we cannot do the size 4 to size 12. Yeah, and the same thing you want me to take in, we cannot make the pants size 18 to size 10. And then there's that sofa you inherited from grandma. Or maybe you have a piece of furniture that's damaged or just needs to be recovered. There's still hope for those too. The key here is how do you reinvent your sofa without spending a ton of money? So you could obviously have it reupholstered. A lot of times people don't think about it. If the sofa itself is in good condition, it's comfortable, this is a great alternative. Also, if you're really looking for something even less expensive, even a slip cover over your sofa can be a way to give it a whole new look while still being able to get some added years out of it. Over time, let's say your couch, and it all depends on different couches have different stuffing, but you'll, no, you'll start to notice that your uh, foam is starting to sink, where you're having a harder and harder time getting up off the couch, and where you'll find yourself, you're scooting to the edge to lift yourself up. Just by us coming in, replacing that foam in there, the, everything else on the couch is good. We just come in, take the old foam out, put a brand new piece of foam in there, whether it's a firmer foam or a taller foam, but something to give it a little bit more life. We've all been on those couches, haven't we? Well, Angie says when you find a repair company, be sure to take a small item in to test to make sure that you like their work. Ask for a price before it's fixed. That way, if the cost to repair is too high, you can just buy new. There you go. Up next on Delmarva Life, she was fired over a Facebook post. I never thought in a million years that it would have caused this. How you can prevent it from happening to you. But first, we just talked about turning old into new, so check out this handy how-to tip from Rachel Ray. Guys, here's a couple of great tricks with the hotter months of the year right around the corner. First of all, how about a super healthy alternative to ice cream sandwiches? All you have to do is take your favorite cookie cutter shape, cut out some melon shapes. Here I have honeydew and watermelon. Pop them in the freezer. Mmm, delicious and refreshing. Also, don't throw away that morning coffee. Pour it into an ice tray, let it freeze up. Pour your almond or dairy milk down over the top the most delicious iced latte you've ever had.